Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to the channel. It's become uh, 2023, and finally the riding season has uh, kicked off again here in uh, Norway. So, uh, out and about for a little trip to this evening. Uh, checking out a little bit uh, new setup for uh, this year. Uh, I brought uh, brought along a Zoom uh, feed recorder down there. Uh, I was hoping to do some external uh, sound capture, and uh, maybe get a little bit better audio uh, from the bike. Other than that, I have uh, put on a little screen in front of the on the top of the original screen from PH and some uh, and some original Honda wind deflectors on the front there, which has contributed, I feel, to uh, resolve the tiny little bit of uh, wind issues I might have with the standard screen. So I don't think I need to do anything more. Other than that, uh, as you can see in my screen now, I have uh, CarPlay going. I have installed a little uh, gizmo that makes this uh, wireless. So you can see there's a cable going into the USB port there. That one is uh, guided back uh, under the tank and under the seat and there's a little tiny little device there that uh, connects uh, over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to my phone and provides uh, maybe the wireless CarPlay on the Africa Twin which is uh, of course very nice and also now uh, I've been looking for uh, good CarPlay apps for navigation uh, yes I know uh, Apple Maps and uh, Google Maps are um, available on CarPlay and they are quite good but I, I wanted something to do um, where I could uh, shape a, a route and also uh, save the route so uh, I could use it another day as far as I know that is uh, currently not possible on the Apple Maps or the Google Maps app so uh, what I'm running now is the TomTom Go. I uh, gave it another try uh, because I really like the features, but uh, caused me a lot of issues uh, last year. Uh, it disconnects all the CarPlay, and uh, so it wasn't uh, probably not quite mature yet. But uh, there's been quite a lot of updates to the app after that. So. Um, I have renewed my faith in this app, and uh, that's why I'm uh, put up uh, quite an elaborate route now, this evening, uh, that I'm going to follow, and see how this behaves. I have been out um, uh, quite some, uh, on a lot of trips, and uh, just had it running, and uh, also been using it to guide me back and on from work, just to, to see uh, you know, how stable it is. to riding this Africa Twin uh, took a few uh, few days uh, with riding to uh, shake off some of the rusty feeling after uh, the long winter I went almost three months without uh, getting to ride so uh, you get a little rusty for that but uh, now I feel it's uh, almost back to where I should be here we have arrived at uh, Moldenheim. You see the church over there. And uh, we're going to take uh, first a left and then immediate right again. And we'll be heading over towards uh, my old neighborhood, Shelta. Whenever I go out in the evening uh, just for uh, 
you know, having a ride. This is the type of roads I, I like to try to find. It's uh, smaller country roads. Nice views. Little traffic. Just enjoy the, the moment. And up here now we are going to get uh, a very good uh, view. As you can see airplanes and helicopters uh, soon in the in the air because we are getting close to the airport. Down there you can see the, the airport. Right. Yes, you can see the runway but you can see the tower. So we are uh, very interested in uh, for example, flight simulation or our pilots. Uh, the code for this airport is uh, Echo November Sulu Victor. Yep, yeah, that was a phone call with the president in the Lions Club. I had to take it. Uh, now we are down on the coast, just passing uh, a nice beach there called uh, Hellestö. Interesting to look at it, I think the GPS uh, or the app now is uh, doing some weird routing. Routing me back to. I must admit I didn't double check the, um, the route properly before I set off. That is, it's not uh, 41 kilometers left. Maybe I just skipped the point. This golf uh, course. seems to want to, to route me back again. Obviously I took a road uh, differently from what I programmed and uh, it wants me to go, go through this um, waypoint that I have uh, way back there. So it's not a problem with the app, it's a problem with the user, me, who uh, can't seem to ride uh, how I programmed it. But I will find a little uh, place to stop for a short bit and see if we can... Uh, oh, not here. See if we can fix this. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, I fixed a uh, little problem. Uh, I had indeed a, a routing loop or um, yeah it's a it was a waypoint that I didn't pass so it uh, was trying to route me back to it could be um, a little bit of an annoyance uh, when you have a very elaborate route and you choose to skip some waypoints uh, if the app doesn't um, allow you to, uh, you know, delete some of the waypoints and go direct to, uh, to a different one and continue on your journey. And if that is the case, uh, yeah, that is uh, not so good. I was kind of hoping it would let me do that, but um, I'll have to see. Um, yeah, I'm going to check the manual and uh, See if we can find something out about that. 
so I've been uh, riding this Africa Twin now for uh, 3,600 and some kilometers, roughly a little bit over 2,000 miles, and um, I must say I've been uh, more and more uh, fond of the uh, DCT gearbox. I think I also said in my first video of the uh, I posted on this bike uh, that. Um, you know, D mode uh, was, uh, you know, sort of acceptable in town and slower areas, but uh, I think I've changed my mind now. I don't think D mode is uh, very good for uh, actually anything. So I normally uh, I use the manual mode mostly. I used to use those uh, switches on the left handlebar to, to switch up and down. It gives me complete control and uh, the gear shift is uh, very smooth and very quick. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the, the Pewitch uh, screen, the little screen down there. It does a good job. I've been able to lower the, the screen actually. I think it's two or three steps before I had to keep it up in the highest position. Yeah, those uh, little uh, deflectors down there, uh, original uh, Honda equipment. I've removed uh, most of the window on my shoulders uh, at uh, higher speeds, so uh, I'm very happy with, uh, with how the wind noise is now. And uh, even though I don't have uh, scientific uh, measurements to support my claim, I, uh, I have seen that I can lower the volume when I listen to music on the uh, Apple CarPlay by uh, quite a lot. You can also, you know, feel it that uh, it, it, the air is uh, more quiet around you. So, uh, you know, maybe less is more in this case. Uh, far from the only guy out uh, tonight on, uh, on the bike. It's 30 degrees. In Norway that is uh, quite good actually. This uh, fjord you can see to the right is uh, Hofsfjord. And the bridge here is um, crossing the tiny outlet from the Hofsfjord out into the big ocean there. And in Hofsfjord, uh, if you go uh, on the other side, you can find uh, uh, some uh, a monument with uh, three swords, big swords stuck in the ground. Uh, is to remind us of uh, the Battle of Hofsjord, and I think it was uh, more than a thousand years ago. And uh, Harald Hoyfager uh, supposedly won the battle to unite the whole Norway into one uh, kingdom. A bit back to this uh, app. Uh, it's not free, so it, it costs, uh, I think, like. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's roughly 20 euros per year, I think. Uh, subscription that you need to have to, to use it and use uh, CarPlay. And of course, uh, if it doesn't have this uh, feature to skip certain waypoints, uh, when you're from your route, um, I have to consider whether this, um, it, it, you know, it has this uh, feature that you can plan your route and store it in advance, which is good if you want to go on a multi-day uh, trip. But um, if you if you then uh, you know change your mind, maybe you have a very elaborate route, but then it's uh, maybe it's getting a little bit late and you're getting tired and you want to shorten the route and skip some other. Um, uh, waypoints, uh, you should be able to do that, I feel. Uh, and if you can't do that, um, maybe this app is not uh, what I'm looking for. But the good thing is that it has been uh, at least stable. Um, I also suspect it to be quite uh, heavy on the battery drain on the phone. But um, of course, uh, Earlier, when I've used uh, CarPlay, I have had the phone connected, so I haven't been able to see uh, 
so easily how much uh, you know Google Maps or Apple Maps uh, draw. So uh, maybe it uh, isn't that bad after all. As you can see, the grass is getting rather green already. Um, that is uh, one thing that's a bit special with uh, the Rogaland and the southwest of, of the country. We don't really have much cold and snow in the winter, so uh, the colors come back uh, very quickly uh, in, the, in the spring. Yeah, I'm almost at my uh, where, I need to, where I need to go, so um, just gonna say, uh, hope you enjoyed this little update from me, and uh, see you again soon.